What's up guys, Sal here. So even though the Pixel 6 is just a few months old, but the Pixel 7 leaks continue to make headlines. Recently, we discovered the first look of the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro, which shows that the design for the most part is remaining the same, except there's a faint pill-shaped outline around the two cameras in the visor. Google introduced this design language with the Pixel 6 series. It's really unlike anything else in the industry today, giving the company's devices a distinctive look. So it's a good thing that this design language will be carried forward to the Pixel 7 series. However, prominent display industry analyst Ross Young recently claimed that while the Pixel 7 Pro won't see any screen size changes, the standard model will go from 6.4 inches to a slightly smaller 6.3 inches. Of course, with that said, we have what appears to be our very first camera specification leak of the Pixel 7 Pro. This tipster, who has a good track record, claims that Google will use the same optics on the Pixel 7 series as the Pixel 6. This means the phone will retain the 50MP GN1 primary camera sensor. However, he mentions that Google will further optimize the sensor, its image processing and will take advantage of the more powerful ISP in this year's Tensor 2 chipset. Samsung also did the same this year between the S21 Ultra and the S22 Ultra. And that turned out to be one of their best decisions lately as the improvement in image and video quality is very significant to the point that the S22 Ultra is widely considered to be the best overall camera phone right now. Getting a good photo is more about software than hardware. Changing the camera sensor year over year is good for marketing but not for the users because it takes years to properly optimize the software to the new camera sensor. So Google keeping the same camera optics and further refining its algorithms to eke out most from the 50 megapixel GN1 sensor is actually good news for the potential buyers. Other information about the Pixel 7 lineup includes a Tensor 2 chipset with a Samsung 5G modem. Now, there are rumors that Google will use AMD graphics for the Tensor 2 chipset, which I don't think will happen because A, it originated from a nobody in South Korean web forum, and B, Samsung wouldn't let Google use it because AMD and Samsung have an exclusive agreement. If the Tensor 2 chip actually has an AMD GPU, we'll surely know it by now through leaks because Google sucks at keeping secrets. Speaking of the Tensor chip, we have some data to suggest that Google's first attempt at making a high-end chip has been a success. Counterpoint Research published a report recently showcasing the state of the Android chipset market. And as expected, Qualcomm dominates the premium end segment with Samsung second and MediaTek dominates the low-end market. What's interesting is Google managed to make a dent in the high-end chip market even though it's just a 1-2% to market share, but it's impressive considering these are the numbers for 2021, which means the Pixel 6 only contributed for 2 months since it launched in October. Further, it was only launched in select few markets. The fact that Google showed up in the chart with only 2 months of presence certainly makes me interested to see how things will be in 2022. Of course, for all the latest updates on the Pixel 7, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.